Hey, problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today I was gonna go over how to use a line level for setting grade, figuring out what slope is. I'll do a little bit of trigonometry so you can find angle of elevation as well as percent grade. A couple tools in the video today. String, that's probably the most important one. The line level itself right here. And then I have two tapes, 25 foot tape and 100 foot tape. And we're gonna figure out rise and run uh, and percent grade. All right, let's get started. I have a couple metal stakes I drove in. What I'm doing here is I'm actually building a new house. This is kind of the layout of the house for the excavator because there's going to be a bench cut for a downstairs basement or mechanical area. And all I've done right now is drive stakes on the corner. I went corner to corner and corner to corner, make sure those were the same distance to make sure the lines are parallel. So the way you make things square is use the Pythagorean theorem and then that diagonal and that diagonal go in the opposite direction. If they're the same, then the box has to be square. So I drive the stake in pretty deep and then I pull my line tight. I've always heard this called the engineer's knot. The way I tie this knot is you want to take with your index finger maybe six or seven wraps, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can put it over there and then you're going to get it as tight as you can. If it's not really as tight as you can, the string's going to slope and you won't be able to use the level accurately. The more precise you do all of this stuff, the better everything goes. A little bit of air here, a little bit of air there. That adds up and the whole thing doesn't work out. So there I'm tied pretty tight. Here's my line level. I'm going to try and get that bubble in the dead center here. And then you see those little lines on either side. When you're off by that amount, that's a quarter inch per foot. So that'll give you a grade so that you can figure out a good slope for pipe. So that second line over is a quarter inch per foot or one in 48. Um, one of the first times I was doing this on a crew, I got sent out to get a new bubble for the level. Um, don't try not to fall for that trick. So I could see right here on this line right here, the bubbles on this side. So this string has to come down. I'm still high on this side. So that string is level right there. I'll bring the camera in and let you see. I'm also going to double check the length. I'm going to move this string level down to make sure there's no drop in the string at all. So I'm going to check it in multiple places to make sure it's accurate. Level there. Level there. And then level there. So I can see that string's level from side to side. I don't know if you pick up that string here, but if you can, you can see I'm really kind of basically on the topography of the land here. I'm kind of following a topo line along. Um, you know, maybe 10 inches off of this stake and maybe 18 inches off of that stake. So there's maybe an eight inch drop across the whole length of the house. But the topography is going this way. So now I'm going to set a string from the upper corner to the lower corner and see how much grade I have between that stake and this stake right here. So now I'm going to set a string from the bottom corner to the upper corner. I'm actually just going to use a clove hitch on this. I think my stakes are long enough. Just take a bite through. So that line's level there. You level all the way across. Just got away with this stake. So I got that line level on there. Checked in a few spots. The string's really tight. Now I'm going to try to figure out the overall percent grade or the slope um, or the angle. So all, all I need to figure out grade is rise over run. So I'm going to use my tape here and see this is 28 inches. The bottom of that stake up there is zero. So I have 28 inches. It's a little more than two feet. So 28 inches of rise. And then I'll use my 100 foot tape to find my run. And I want it horizontal.
26 and a half feet. So I have a level string. My rise is 28 inches. My run is 26 and a half feet. And then I'll put the camera over my shoulder and do some calculations to figure out percent grade or angle of elevation. Uh, and then once I have that grade, if it stays constant throughout the slope, I can figure out where we are another 10 feet down or 20 feet down. I'm gonna do the same thing on the far side as well and get some more numbers. Oh, you know what else? Maybe I'll put the drone up and see if we get some footage of the whole build site and topography. All right, flying down to the south, you can see how it really slopes down. The house is going across from east to west, and then the slope is north to south. So you could kind of see it there a little bit, I guess. All right, let's put pen to paper and do some of these calculations for grade and slope. Here's my first stake is tied at the top. The second stake I pulled up to you and then the ground kind of goes like that. It was 28 inches of rise from the ground to the string, and then it was right on the ground here, and then the run was 26 feet, six inches, or 26 and a half feet. So this is gonna be your rise. How much you go in the y direction, this is gonna be your run. It is a right triangle, and I'm not measuring on the ground, I measured the string that was level. So the first thing I really need to do is convert everything into the same units. You could kind of use any kind of calculator I'm just gonna, or your phone. I'm just going to use this one because you could see the screen well on video. The one button that I am going to go over is this button right here, Tangent. Not all calculators have that. If you're using your phone, sometimes you have to turn it sideways to get the trig functions. So the first thing I'm going to do is convert everything into feet, so 28 inches divided by 12 inches is going to give me feet. So I go 28 divided by 12, and this is 2.33 feet. And then 26 feet, 6 inches is 26.5 feet. So if I want to figure out percent grade, so the grade is just the amount of rise over the amount of run times 100. So that'll give you a decimal. You're going to multiply that by 100, and that'll give you a percent grade. So the rise is 2.33 feet. The run is 26.5 feet. So I'm going to take that 2.33, divide it by the 26.5 feet, and get 0 0.088. So I'm going to, so the answer is 0 0.08805. I'm going to just round that to 0 0.09, multiply it by 100. That's going to take that thing over there, and that's a 9% grade. So that's how you figure out grade. It's the amount of rise divided by the amount of run times 100, and that's your percent grade. Nice thing about that 9% grade is if the slope is constant, like that, and we know it's a 9% grade, and now I'm a... 100 feet down and I want to figure out you know how much this would be you know whether it's a string pulled this way and this way those are going to be the same so if I'm 100 feet down and it's a constant 9% grade I just take that 9% right 9% is 0 0.09 times that 100 and I get 9 feet so that means it's going to rise 9 feet in 100 feet and that's what that 9% grade means right there. Now, the other thing I was going to do is find this angle right here. This angle right here, usually measure of an angle is theta. It's easy to do. It's just like this grade part right here. And the button on the calculator that says rise over the run is actually the tangent button. That button right there means tangent, means rise over run or slope. Or in triangles, it's the opposite side over the adjacent side. They're all kind of the same thing. So I'm going to say I have the opposite and the adjacent of this angle, but I don't have that angle, so I'm looking for it. So I'm going to say tan, tangent of that angle is equal to my opposite, 2.33, over my adjacent, 26.5. And this is how I'm going to figure out 
degrees of angle. I have to get that theta by itself. So I multiply both sides by the inverse tan, which is really like dividing by tan. That thing will cancel with that. That gives me my angle by itself. And then if I do that to the left side, I have to do it to the right side. So the inverse tan of 2.33 divided by 26.5. Same units there. Do that on my calculator. There's a tangent button there. Right above it in blue is a tangent to negative 1. So I'm going to go second tangent. That gives tangent to negative 1 of the quantity 2.33 divided by 26.5, I gotta close my parentheses, hit enter, and it gives me five degrees. So this angle right here is five degrees. Um, I mentioned this earlier about the level and the two different lines on the level. All right, so here's your bubble level. And if your bubble's sitting right here, you're exactly level, and then there are these additional lines on each side. That's a quarter-inch slope. So if the bubble in the level, you know, is like this in blue here, just on the edge of that second line, that's a quarter-inch per foot slope, right? So again, we've got to use the same units. That's a quarter-inch in one foot or in 12 inches. If I multiply that by four, That'll give me one inch, multiply that by four, and 48 inches. So over here is a quarter inch per foot slope, which is one in 48. If I were to find the percent slope, I would just do one divided by 48. And if I do one by 48, it's really like almost one out of 50 if you were to round. One divided by 48, my percent grade, see that is a 2% grade. And that 2% grade, is important because if you're pouring concrete and you want a little bit of a slope so the water runs out, um, gravity feed pipes, they need a minimum of a 2% grade or one inch per 48 inches. Okay, uh, hopefully that explains slope, grade, finding grade as a percent or as a degree angle. Um, appreciate you watching. I'd like to hear your comments. If you use any of this stuff below, um, please comment and say where you use it.